Hi Scrubs, hope you're well. So we're back in Star Stable. I've got Jerry with me and uh, I know it's been a long time since I did a video here over at uh, the Druid Training Paddock. It has been quite a while. Months, in fact. <laughs> so I apologize. But on the upside, that's how close we are to getting the horse. I don't know if it'll show up here properly. Yeah, you can see we're super close to getting the horse. So um, let's start on this. I'm going to probably do all of them just purely to get the extra XP for Jerry because Jerry needs to level up. Anyway, so yeah. Actually, I might get Jerry to do this last one and then we could get the Rune Runner and then do the Rune Runner. The tra do the training with the Rune Runner. Because that would help level out horse a little bit. But uh, the last time I did a video on the uh, Rune Runner, I asked you guys what you had been playing for the last while. Uh, a few of you said uh, Star Stable. I actually have been playing more Star Stable 2 recently. Uh, horse Riding Teals was another one. I've also been doing that. Minecraft. Actually, funny enough, I have been playing quite a bit of Minecraft. I've been playing a lot of Skyblock. Um, on Hypixel. One of you mentioned Overwatch. I actually played Overwatch like the other week uh, for like 30 minutes and then that was it. Um, but I did play a little bit. I actually haven't played any horse since their 15th anniversary thing uh, because I got sick uh, around the start of that. Because I remember being sick at the time that their 15th anniversary happened and I watched their live stream and I remember being sick that day. Um, and then I literally have not got rid of this cold. It just keeps coming back and being worse. As you can probably hear in my voice, it's really, 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 really not good. But um, yeah, no, and then Horse Haven, I've been playing a lot of Horse Haven. There's been so much happening in Horse Haven, like so many events that it's actually starting to become hard to keep up with. Um, one of you mentioned My Horse Story, which I have actually not played, but I've seen it. I get adverts for it all the time when I play games. You completed your first task today. Okay, did I just finish my thing? Does it say that I finished my thing? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, well, it goes over there, but for some reason it's not over there. Weird. Very, very weird. Maybe we should, like, I don't know, collect our rewards. But yeah, no, I've, I have seen it, like, advertised, but I've never played it. Then one of you mentioned the Rise of Burk, which I'm assuming is to do with uh, how to train your dragon, possibly. I mean, um, in terms of games that I have been playing recently, Among Us, Fall Guys, In Silence I played recently, which terrified me. It's a horror game. Phasmophobia, which when I first played I was terrified of, and I, it's complete opposite. I chased the ghosts in Phasmophobia. So, let's collect our rewards here. Clam. I emptied my inventory just for this. I was literally like, I'm not going to like go here and not be able to do this. Oh! I got loads of powders. Nice. Okay, clam. I don't know if I got Halloween powders because that's the ones that are currently or if that's what everybody gets. Lore book unlocked. Okay. You fool. You absolute clown. Have you not been paying attention to the status reports for the drill machines we have planted around the island? Wake up. Inferior workers report find drills destroyed upon bi-weekly inspection. Blown to smithereens. Zapped to pieces or missing completely. Assigned black hole where they once were. And what exactly have you been doing about it? Nothing. What a flaming surprise. Do you not understand the importance of these drills? They are vital to the harvesting of your resources and maintaining or gaining metabolism over the islands. Without them, we are uh, making no progress. Local residents have been informed that the drills are part of the environmental data gathering scheme, so the chance of mutiny is of sa or sabotage is minimal. Which leaves only one explanation in my mind. Those vexing horse twerps. The ones with their foolish belief of Eodine and do not understand that order is the only way to bring control to this untamed island. If this mission doesn't succeed, that musty old hoagie who thinks he runs the place will have good reason to take over my responsibilities. I can't let that happen. It's your neck on the line, you wet rag. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this person's aggressive. The targeting drones you built weren't lethal enough to halt those hoof-faced twerps. Didn't I tell you they would gain the upper hand without web-catching technology? Yet you went ahead with your pathetic flying hunks of junk. The fact that you had a three-week deadline to create new tech is irrelevant. If you couldn't do your job with the time I gave you next time, it'll be two weeks. I hope you enjoy your seawater because for the next 12 years... No, 12... For the next 12 weeks, you'll be scrubbing the underside of the dark oil or rig. Do not fail me again, leech. <laughs> Darko's Mamo. I explains a lot. Okay. I enjoyed that. That was quite funny. Right. Clam. 
I'm gonna look at all of this once I've clamped up. And then we've got... I don't know what this is. More gifts? Oh, more partners, okay. Okay, I think this might be lower. More book. Okay, is this the, ah, part three. The wise and ancient druid texts of time gone by were deeply rooted in the notion of destiny. It was said that destiny determines a great deal of one's magical finesse, with the potential of deep connections with horses to one's ability to participate in soul riding. However, recent hypotheses by modern druids have presented an alternative perspective to magic ability. For example, soul riding training undertaken by Rhiannon and Weld Warden has garnered fascinating results with individuals not considered part of Yorvik's destiny by the Keepers of Aideen. In addition, there have been documented instances of the magical properties of Aideen's gift found in the bones of regular Yorvikans and their horse companions. It would appear that, with enough dedication to pursuing Aideen's light and devoting oneself to protecting Yorvik, that one's fated that magical abilities can become present in anyone who tries hard enough. Looking forward to the future, I strongly believe it is important that we druids maintain an open mind to the ways of magic manifests in people, and instead of confining people to destiny and fate, we should let people write their own story. An essay by Druid Bar uh, Briar, Apprentice of Bar Arabella. Got a saddle. As well. Okay, item bundle. Maybe this will be more powders and things. Yes, I think so. Okay, I think this is our last bit of lore. Yeah. When I first signed up to the Wild Warden, I was under the impression that I had nothing more than watching over horses. In a way, I was correct, but little did I know that I observed and listened would begin to hone my untapped abilities. It all began with meeting a Dandelion a few weeks ago. He was a striking, untanned stallion, full of pep with a spark of defiance that captivated me. His reaction when I almost named him glitter shanks the way he swished his tail at me we soon came to understand each other's boundaries fast forward to today i was watching over dandelion who seemed to be in an unusual pensive mood typically he prances about relishing at the crisp yorvik and breeze running through his uh, wild mane and tail before i could ask him what's up dandelion nipped my hair in a bid to gain my attention he urged me to follow him so i did he led me to the edge of a field through the tall grass and uh, that tickled my arms as I pushed through it. Once I reached the other side, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Dandelion stood proudly over a mare and a foal, both beautiful North Swedish horses with flowing manes and feathered um, on their hooves. My eyes were drawn to the lightning shaped blaze of the foal's muzzle, and I felt my heart flutter with a certain lightness. I knew instantly that this horse and I shared an unspoken connection, a connection that ran deeper than much bigger than just us. It was as if we were two halves that had become one whole, so attuned to each other and our feelings, flowing together as one. For the first time, I felt the full strength of my wild whisper abilities uh, coursing through me. As I approached the gangly fool, I sensed a bright light within him, but also a shadow. I thought to my grandmother's stories of spirits that lived in the springs, luring people to the watery depths. But for those who really listened, they could share a powerful gift. My grandmother would call them Nyx. As soon as the word came to mind, I looked uh, down at the fool and knew I had met my Nyx. As I sit here now, laying at the field as I watch Danny Landix and his mom, I sense a faint outline of a future together. Who knows what time has in store for us? Okay, so that was the last bit of lore. The horse! There's the horse! We're finally getting the horse! Look at it. Alright, clam. 70 billion years after everyone else got their root water. <laughs> Looks like Rihanna has something to tell you. Okay. Let's see what she needs to tell us. You can't do this quest while horse back. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, Jerry, you were there. Color me impressed. The bond between you and your horse is so strong that I can almost see the light of Edith inside you. Draslava, you truly are a master of the style of soul writing. What do you say we hold our little graduation ceremony? Talk to Rihanna to, gra to graduate. Ugh. Talk to Rihanna to graduate from your training. Okay. Oh, we actually get a little ceremony. I wasn't expecting a little ceremony. Jerry's just like, what is going on? Everybody's here. Thank 
you everyone for coming. Today is a monumental day for us all, the Druids, the Soul Riders, but more importantly for Drahoslava. Woo, that's our Drahoslava. Pipe down. Can't help it, I'm getting all teary-eyed. Drahoslava has been training uh, rigorously under my watch for a long time, in the art of soul riding. In the beginning we didn't know each other very well. But now I have found myself a dear friend, and someone who inspires me greatly. Thank you for all your hard work in protecting your from danger. I have watched the Drahoslava and uh, Dark Phantom strengthen their bond into something powerful, magical. Together they have truly mastered the way of soul riding. A round of applause for Drahoslava and Dark Phantom. Look at us go, Jerry. <laughs> so <we're towards> me. <laughs> uh, now through these months of dedication to learning the way of soul riding, Drahoslava has proven their deep understanding of the ways of the Druids of Jorvik. As a token of our gratitude and in celebration of the magic of Aedine's gift, we'd like to give them the opportunity to bond with another companion that we Druids hold close to our hearts, a Rune Runner. Here's our Rune Runner. Would you like some? I don't know if they're... I hope they're edible flowers. I hope they are definitely edible flowers. Okay, choose a name for your horse. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, I can literally name it Rune Runner, but I don't think I should name it Rune Runner. Danger Runner, there we go. Okay, we've got our horse. All right, Jerry, we'll go uh, get the Rune Runner. I'll come back, because then I can level it up a little bit as well. There we go. Finally got our Rune Runner. I'm literally just gonna call this one Rune. So we'll bring Rune out here. And um, then I'll actually put on the entire outfit when I get over to uh, the Druid Paddock. So this is the Rune Runner. I've put on the entire outfit except for the headband. And I also can't put the leg wraps on this horse, which is kind of unfortunate, to be honest. Because uh, obviously it feels so much that it's part of the set. So we have completed this. No, so it doesn't show up anything. I'm gonna do some more of the training. I'm not gonna do the mission, so, but I will do some more of the training here just to get a little bit of levels on this horse now. But yeah, no, I've been playing like quite a range of new games um, the last while, I would say. There's a couple I'm gonna wait out for, um, I would say, in the next month or so. If they go on sale. I wanna get uh, the Jurassic Park DLC for Jurassic World Evolution. Um, because it came out nearly a year ago now, and I think I did see it go on sale recently, but I'm going to wait a little while, I think. Because I expect a Christmas sale. Because I think they just did their Halloween sale on Steam. Okay, I need to go over here. We'll have a look at this horse's gates and things um, after I do. I'll do the, do the training, so then we'll do that. But... I suppose I should give you a garden update because I haven't done that in ages as well. Um, the garden's died back now because obviously now it's got cold. We had a little while ago with this really bad three days of frost and it killed my pumpkins. It killed the pumpkins off. So no pumpkins this year. Um, but pretty much everything else. Um, the tomatoes and the chilies also kind of got wrecked with the frost because... They just sort of, it was a bit late for some of the tomatoes that I had really, because we had really bad storms a couple of times, and the storms just were enough to kind of, the one storm was bad enough because they kind of got over that and they recovered and then there was the second storm not long after it. And then because we had the storms back to back, it was just enough to kind of like wreck everything, unfortunately, so yeah, but Mostly really pleased. Plenty of stuff grew really, really well. The beetroot did really, really well. Turnip did fine. The courgettes did fine. You know, um, salad stuff did fine as well. Like, so pretty much everything did really well except the pumpkins and uh, the tomatoes and the chilies. And I know tomatoes and chilies would be kind of hard to grow here anyway without like a greenhouse so but you know it's a learning experience and I just wanted to try it so I've already kind of uh, picked out a couple of things I want to try growing uh, in spring so a few things I need to go and get 
I need to buy the seeds for, but I still have plenty of seeds left over from uh, stuff that I bought this year, so. Yeah, I know it's, it's gone reasonably well, quite, quite happy. But, um, yeah, the weather's just been ew. <laughs> just in general, it's been ew. And kind of nasty. But, yeah, no, I think, I think it's all worked out reasonably well, right? Okay, you do have reward unlock. We already have the reward. I don't think we could get anything else. Right, let's have a look at this this horse in general, right? So obviously, you know, I haven't got any of the North Swedish except is do I? I suppose you're you're yeah, the you're basically as close to the North Swedish as they come, aren't no, it kind of is. It kind of is, I think, anyway, but I only have Brennacle. Texas Bluebell is technically kind of your model as well, I guess. But anyway, so that's the idols. There's the walk, which is quite bouncy. It is quite bouncy. And then trot's nice and smooth. I like that trot. Counter. Yeah, I like the counter well enough. Let's see the that's kind of weird. <laughs> it's a little bit rocky. And then, I like the gallop. Yeah. But, it's taken me so long to get this horse. So long, honestly. So, obviously, this is going to be the end of my soul riding training videos. I hope you have enjoyed this particular little sort of mini series that we've done. I know that it kind of like, I got very infrequent with the posting later on, and I apologize for that. Um, I just kept being like, oh, maybe I'll get to this point and then I'll make a video and then I would get to that point and then I'd be like, I need to make a video and then it just didn't happen. Um, but we finally got the Rude Runner, so I'm kind of relieved. Now I've got another horse to train though um, and I think the North Swedish horses, no, not the North Swedish, what am I talking about? There's going to be more Jorvik Wilds in future and I want to get one from the second set, which is why I haven't got one from the first set. So I'm waiting on them. So I hope I can get Jerry and Rune trained before them, but probably won't happen. But anyway, Scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a lovely day. And bye-bye.